you want me to say something? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I've seen you for a while. Did you all right? Me, where are you? Wenlock Road, I believe. <laughs> and what are you doing at Wenlock Road? Come see my mate Jamie's exhibition. <laughs> Welcome to Jamie Reed's installation, The Ragged Kingdom, here at Isis Gallery in London, Newcastle. What we have is a peace camp by Jamie here in North London. Each different teepee represents a different area of Jamie's thinking. So it's more an exhibition of process and ideas rather than objects. Each teepee is custom made with uh, his magical symbols overlaid. And inside we have a number of different objects from tents representing his work on the Druidic understanding of the Eightfold Year. Sex pistols. His sleeve work. His early project, the cat book over here. Over here is a tent that represents all the work he did for many, many years in the Strong Room Recording Studios, working in colour magic and sacred geometry to enliven the space. The tent over here represents his pre-pistols period, which was uh, a project he, he did called The Suburban Press, in which he actually worked on many of the graphic ideas that were then later used for the Sex Pistols. The tent over here represents the work he did with the group Afro-Celt Sound System. And a lot of that work was also done with a, a Liverpool-based performance group called Visual Stress. This one over here is called How to Become Invisible, and you have to experience this one to really explain it, but it's actually part of a larger performance project that Jamie was working on in the 80s. So we have a kind of magical space here. As you can see, it's very industrial, but we try and do something which is a bit more magical within that space, trying to create something really exciting and fresh, which has lots of ideas, lots of things to take away as well. In fact, you could literally can take things away because in each of the teepees there are a whole series of different flyers which you can pick up as you go around the exhibition, put them together to form your own little catalogue. We give you a special little envelope and you can walk out the door with something nice that's free. What have you got there then? John said the whole idea is you can take anything you see. So I saw these. No. Well, if it's not me, someone else is going to do it. It's nice inside these. <laughs> Tell me about the inside there. What's going on here? I'm not quite sure. I feel like I'm in a, a, I don't know, on a climbing rope. It's quite cool. And then I'm suspended in space because I've got like lots of sky and stars going on underneath. I do feel like climbing. You said anything lying around in the teepees is there to be taken. No, I mean stuff on the floor. Oh, stuff on the floor. Oh, Someone else will have them. Don't worry, I haven't put them out of order. There's only the little flyers on the floor. Well, I, I, I took you literally. <laughs> Anything you see in the teepees, you can have. It's like...
here this evening in honor of recognition of Mr. Jamie Reed. I'm honored and privileged to be here to be a part of this, this gathering. When uh, John called me and said, uh, Dennis, uh, I know you met Jamie in 1999 in Liverpool. And uh, He's going to do a special opening in, in London that he hasn't done in a long time. I thought to myself, how could I not take the time out of my busy schedule, my lifestyle, my home, my family, to leave them behind and to come here and to be a part of this, this gathering. So I'm, I'm very honored to represent my tribe, the Navajo tribe from the state of Arizona. I am a real Native American. I'm the real thing. When Europeans first stepped foot on our continent, our spirit, our great spirit, taught us that we are all brothers and sisters, regardless of the color of our skin or our eyes or our hair or the way we walk or the language that we speak, that we are all brothers and sisters, a part of his creation. And creation is what you see around here today. Mr. Reed's life work is in these creations of these lodges that you see gathered around here in this sacred circle. I want to say uh, also thank you to John Marchant right here for surprising uh, Jamie with my arrival. It's good to see you again, brother. No matter what language we speak or what country we come from, we are all brothers and sisters and the circle, the circle of life. So, Dunjoniye Hyehe Abiga. Hakushina, Hakushina, Hagone. It means that it's time for me to go now. And in Welsh, Diochenval. Thank you. If you, uh, if you brought your camera and would like to take a picture, I'd be glad to do so. Uh, please enjoy yourselves. Walk around. Look at, look at Mr. Reed's life artwork. Uh, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Turn that into the constable. You might get a reward. <laughs> if you'd like, I can email you. Oh, yes, please. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. 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 So, can you tell me, this is you? Yeah, that's me. I was quite surprised to see that this morning. And so, uh, I'm just very proud and very honored to be here to be a part of this art exhibit by Mr. Jamie Reed. So, thank you so much for all of you coming out here and thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you. You want to interview me about him, but not in front of him? I've got no no secrets. Uh -huh. Have we, have we, we Jamie? I'm desperate. How long have you guys right. known each other? A long time. Ages. A long time. And where did you meet? On a cricket pitch, probably? Not on a cricket pitch, no. Where did you meet? At the Strong Road. Oh, really? I think, yeah. In about 1987. Yeah. 85, maybe. And you asked him to decorate? Yeah. And become a good friend ever since? Yeah. Very good. As it says in the strong room tent, just do what you like. Yeah. That's what I told him when he said, well, the fact you want me to do, I said, just do what you like, Jamie. I'm not going to influence you. Anyway, it carried on from there. Very good. I'm going down the bar. I'll see you down there in a bit, yeah? yeah? See you soon. 
What's in there? Well, I believe that there's a, you know, it's the past, the present, the struggle of turmoil, of punk and anarchy, plus there's the simple life of a Indian culture living out in a teepee, in a tent, you know. So it uh, shows that there's other choices to make. You know? And that's what it's called? The Ragged yeah. Kingdom? Yeah. When's it open till? When's it finished? And where are we? We are at uh, Isis Gallery at London Newcastle Depot. This is in 1 to 3 Wenlock Road, London N1. We're open Tuesday to Saturday, 12 o'clock to 6 p.m. And we'd love to see you here. And the closing date is? We're opening until the 30th of July.